And I've been thinking about that a lot. I said, you know, Lord, we don't never take time just to be still. Yeah. Really, we don't. Because yeah. we're always moving around. Amen. We're always doing something. Yeah. Praise God. I've been in services to where if we would just been still and waited on God, Come on. we would have seen Him move. Amen. Instead, we allowed the devil to come in and have his way. Yeah. And I'm telling you tonight, church, we need to get back to giving God what He wants instead of the devil. Come on. You said, Brother Mike, I don't give the devil what he wants. Really, you do, and you may not know it. Because we come in a lot of the times, and we go through formalities. We go through the whole ordeal on giving the same prayer request every week. And, and I've noticed, and, I, and, and I'm not pinpointing out anybody, but Brother Ronnie, can I use you for an example? I will. Amen. <laughs> I'll hear you each time say, pray for Marie and her family. Yeah. But are we truly praying for Marie and her family? Come or on. are we just speaking that out? We always say pray for our loved ones, our unsaved family members and friends. But praise God, is that just a formality we're going through? Or do we really want prayer for them? Come on. Because you shouldn't have to wait to come here to pray for them. Yeah. You can pray for them at home. And I'm not saying don't give your prayer request here. Please don't misunderstand me. I'm just saying we go through formalities and routines. And that quenches the Spirit of God. And that's why we're not seeing the Lord move in the way He wants to because once you quench His Spirit, He goes. Come on. If somebody says, I don't want you around, what, what's, you're going to leave, amen, to God because they Come don't on. want you to be around. The same with Jesus. Amen. Brother Bill sang the song earlier. Nobody, praise God, would welcome Him in the fancy churches today. Amen to God. If He come in looking like a bum off the street... He would be escorted out if he went to Joel's church. Come on. Looking like a bum. Smelling a little bad. If he looked like John the Baptist did, as they described him in the Bible, Come on. boy, he'd be escorted out pretty quick, amen? Amen. I'm just saying tonight, the formalities and the routines and the rituals that we put ourselves through thinking we're pleasing God, but we're not. We're not pleasing God. We're pleasing God each other and men and we're pleasing the devil because the devil does not want to see God's people succeed. The devil wants to see you and I lose. Come he on. wants us to see see us defeated. He wants us to come in one way and leave the same way if not worse. Amen to God. Yeah. And I'll tell you for me, I'm tired of seeing it. Amen to God. I'm tired of the body of Christ who is supposed to be the victorious church, amen to God, where Come Jesus on. Christ is the head, amen to God, and we are under Him. I'm tired of seeing us, amen to God, not getting on the same page. I'm tired of seeing us, praise God, walking in one way Come and on. leaving out the same. God said we, praise God, would have power over these things, amen? Amen. We have power through the Holy Ghost. And if you've not got the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you need it, amen to God. Amen. It's essential for your journey and walk with Jesus. Come on. Praise God. You can't sing about being filled with the Spirit if you've never been filled with the Spirit. But people today are, and they really are deceived and misled. Amen? Come on. Go with me to Mark chapter 1. I said all that to get to a point. Before I read that text of Scripture, i tell you, this past Sunday, up there at the church, hallelujah to God, Brother Rad taught a message on unity. How, well, it was actually more of a, about a two-minute spoke a word from the Bible because the Spirit got to moving up there in a great way. Hallelujah. Because I noticed we all got in one accord got our minds off our problems, got our minds on Jesus, amen to God. And that's why when Brother Billy said that tonight, the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, my word shall be established, amen. amen. That, amen to God, that's, that's a confirmation. I know for me, praise God, that hallelujah, we need to praise and worship Him more, more than just shouting and screaming and dancing. And there's times for that, amen. Don't misunderstand me. There's times we need to be rejoicing, running these aisles, dancing. But I think the Lord is wanting us to get back to where we worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen? Come on. Not just with the lips. We need to do it with our lips. But 
from the Spirit, from our hearts. Amen. Amen. To where we are sincerely worshiping. I don't care what anybody else is doing. My mind is on you, Jesus. Come on. Amen. I hope my brothers and sisters are worshiping you too. So that way we can collectively be together. But Lord, come I want to come in and just say, I don't care what's going on around me. My mind is on you. I just want to love you today, praise God, and Amen. worship you today. You know, like you said, if you ain't got nothing to thank God for, thank Him that you're saved. Amen. Come on. God. Amen. I mean, how many people actually do that today? Praise God. We'll come in to thank God for blessings we get, but we never come in to thank God truly for saving our souls. If the rich man who died and went to hell could stand here tonight, Amen. he would say, I'll tell you, you ought to rejoice and praise God that yeah. you got an opportunity Amen. to lift up Amen. your voice and praise Him because I don't have that opportunity anymore. Amen. He will not get the opportunity anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's done once he left this life. Hallelujah to God. He went to a place called hell yeah. that still exists today to Come where on. they're crying out. Hallelujah. Sinners repent Come because on. Jesus, amen Hallelujah. to God, Jesus is the only way amen. to get to heaven. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. That's why it's important to praise God. Amen. We don't say that just for something to fill time we say it because if the people in hell could tell you tonight come on you better accept him yeah. and praise him while you've got an opportunity come on the brother talked about that man waking up deaf he didn't yeah. lay down the night before saying well i'm he said you know he probably took his hearing for granted yeah i'll wake up in the morning and hear things he'll never hear birds praise god come on Hallelujah. He'll never hear his children if he had any. Come say, on. I love you, Daddy. Come on. Or his wife say, I love you, husband. Yeah. We take things for granted and the Amen. devil knows it. Amen. Amen. And that's what he wants us to do. Come on. So getting back to what I was saying, he mentioned the word on unity Sunday morning. And then he said they were having a service at Bridge of Hope, another church there in Hopkinsville, to where they it was going to be a unity service. And I've heard of these over the times past, been to a couple, to where different churches were invited to come, yeah. and us collectively as the body of Christ put aside what you believe, your disagreements, hallelujah to God, if you're white, black, amen to God, Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, put all that garbage aside, and let's come together truly as the body of believers. Whoa. And worship Jesus. Yeah. I like what the brother said. He said, tonight, what is our main goal here? He said, who do we serve? And everybody spoke up Jesus. Amen. He said, that's our middle ground. Yeah. We all may have disagreements, yeah. but our middle ground is Jesus. Come on. And he told him another thing, Brother Billy. He said, before we get started, everybody look around at the oddballs, at the pretty people, the ugly people, the tall, the short, the, short, the fat, the skinny, the ugly, the beautiful. Look around. Get it out of your system real quick because you know you want to. Praise God. Don't just stand there. You know you're kind of... Do you see them over there? Who are they yeah, from? Come on. Praise God. Get all that out of your system, praise God, so we can truly come together tonight in unity of the faith and praise the King of Kings. Amen. 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 Let's get all that out of our system. Let's get all that stuff out. Leave it back there at the door. Amen to God. Or bring it to the altar. Give it to Jesus. Get it all out so we can get our minds and hearts focused Amen. on Jesus. Yeah. And I'll tell you, for the next three and a half hours, it was nothing truly but a, just a wonderful, praise God. It was just a breeding ground of miracles. You could just feel the Spirit of God moving there. I, I, I reached over and told Lori, I said, wow, if this is what they felt on the day of Pentecost, my Lord, just to Come get on. people in one mind and one accord, and I know the devil didn't like that. Come on. Praise God, because I seen when we was leaving out, there was a couple out there got into an argument, just hallelujah to God, minutes after they were in there on their knees, weeping, amen to God. The devil did not like that, so he had to start something, amen to God, when they left out. How many ever gotten an argument when they left the house of God? Amen. 
Praise God. I've gotten into arguments when me and Lord was coming down here, praise God, and then have to preach. Come on. Any preachers know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Ever got into a fight before you had to preach? Come on. Boy, you can't get real spiritual after y'all have done thrown out things you shouldn't have said. Amen. Come, Come on. on now. I don't know how to preach. Mm -mm -mm. I know I may be the only one, but praise God, I'll do it. If Laura was here, she would be quiet about it because she'd be like, don't want to say nothing. But Amen. I'll say it for her. I've done it. Amen. Amen. But saying that to get to this, it's time to get the body of Christ back together. It's time to, to quit being about this church, that church, that church, that denomination, that denomination, how much money we make, how big our attendance is. Get that garbage out the way, praise God, and let's get back truly to what Jesus has called us to do. Yeah. That way, praise God, we can be, amen to God, laborers in this harvest, amen to God, because there is a harvest great out there, truly Come great. On. But the laborers, praise God, are few. And I'll tell you why they're few, amen to God. Because they're too busy fighting amongst each other, praise God. Gossiping, amen to God. Doing things contrary to what the Holy Ghost is supposed to tell them to do. And praise God, no wonder, praise God, the laborers are few. Because we're losing them off left and right, praise God, to the things of the world that the devil is enticing them with. Because they won't listen to what the Lord is saying. And he's saying, love ye one another, praise God. Forgive one another your Thoughts, quit quarreling and fighting in the house of God. Come there and lift me up, amen to God. So praise God, the glory will come down and you can go out and spit all over the people who are lost and going to hell and they will come in. Come on, amen. Praise God, that's a mouthful, but that is preaching, amen to God. Amen. That amen. is good preaching right there, praise God. That's good. It's time, men of God who have been called to preach the word, stand up. Come on. If you've got faults, confess them to the Lord and go on. Praise God. If you've Amen. got stuff against other brothers in the faith, make it right. Come on. Because I tell you, I heard a guy talking the other night up there. He said, he said he went to a conference, an all-black conference. Excuse me. He was the only white guy there. He said they didn't have much in common. He said, but when they got talking about Jesus, Amen. Praise God. Something was in common there, praise God. Because he found himself in the middle of them shouting Jesus just like they were, amen to God. Amen. I tell you right there, it don't matter your race, amen to God. When you got Jesus in your heart and life, letting him lead you, praise God. Hallelujah to God, that's all that matters. Amen. That'll give you something to talk about. Shout somebody, go. Come on, amen. Mark chapter 1, beginning in verse 21, praise God. You said, Brother Mike, you done yet? No, we're just getting started. Hallelujah. How many knows the devil wants us to stay on the time clock? Amen? Amen. The devil want, the devil keeps it. Now, and I believe in being respectful. Don't, don't get me wrong. But sometimes that old clock, amen to God, ought to just be thrown out the door. Amen? Come on. Mark chapter 1, beginning verse 21. Amen? And they went to Capernaum and straightway on the Sabbath, it's talking about Jesus, he entered into the synagogue and talked. Yeah. If you ever notice, how many... You ever notice all the times Jesus did miracles, He did them on the Sabbath? Come on. Because they said the law, you was to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. You were not supposed to be doing anything on the Sabbath. So Jesus was healing on the Sabbath, and they kind of had somewhat against that, amen. or delivering people on the Sabbath. Amen? Yeah. Boy, the Lord knew how to stick it to them. Amen? amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, as, and they were astonished at His doctrine. For he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. You know this word, amen to God, we get in our hearts. The word of God that produces faith. Yeah. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by what? The, word, the of word of God. Praise God. When you get the word in you and you start teaching this word, you will be one that's having authority. Because I've never not known anybody truly when they're preaching the Word of God for them to praise God have authority. They will be having authority over the devil and over the things that are going on, amen, to God, when they're truly ministering the Word of God. How many knows that's true? Come on. Can I preach like this? Is that alright? Amen. Praise God. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. The devil knows who he is, amen. And he knows who you are. 
if you're living for Jesus and serving Jesus. Amen? Come on. Jesus rebuked him saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out. And they were all amazed in so much that they questioned amongst themselves saying, What thing is this? The modern day church is saying that today. What thing is this? Yeah. Because the modern church has not seen, Brother Billy, they've not seen people delivered from demons. Amen. They've not seen the sick be healed. They've not even seen the lost be saved. Come on. Because I guarantee you, a lot of the churches around this nation, or America, I'm, not, I'm just going to use America for instance. I guarantee you, if you ask them and question them, how many people recently has been saved from your ministry, from your your ministry where you're preaching? I guarantee you, it'll be very few. Or how many people has joined up with your congregation? Then you're going to see the numbers. Come on. But salvation, praise God, salvation needs to be preached from our pulpits today. Amen. Amen. We need to start preaching the truth. Somebody say amen. Amen. Am I boring you? No, it's good. Come you on. sure? Praise God. Y'all looking, some of you looking at me like, shut up. I can't. I've got order, so you have to talk to him about Come it. On. What thing is this? What new doctrine is it? For with authority commandeth he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. You remember Jesus said, He gives you this same power that he had. And you'll do, you'll do greater things. Amen. Yeah. How many's ready to do greater things for the kingdom? Amen. Of heaven. How many? How many's a part of this kingdom? Amen. To God. Amen. How many? How many kingdom folks we got here? How many kings' kids we got in here? Come on. Amen. How many? How many honest to God workers we've got in here? That's all about the Father's business. Come Remember on. when Jesus was twelve years old? He said he was in the temple preaching and teaching. He said, "I must be about my Father's business." Amen. Praise God. That's what I want to be about tonight. Is my Father's business. And I'm not talking about the devil. I'm Come talking on. about the Lord Jesus. Amen. Yeah. I want to be about His business tonight. Amen. Praise God. Because if I'm about His business, I'm under His authority, preaching His word. Amen to God. Come and on. making devils flee. Amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. And it said, and immediately His fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. Hallelujah to God. Come on. I'm telling you tonight. Praise God. The devil wants us to stop this. But Brother Rodney asked me, now what are you going to call your sermon? Amen to God. And I, I just kind of spoke it out. I don't care what the devil wants. Amen. And that's the title of my message tonight if I had to give it one. I don't care what the devil wants. Come on. And you shouldn't either. Amen to God. Look at your neighbor whether you're mad at him or love him. Say, I don't care what the devil wants. Praise God. I only care what Jesus wants. Father, we come before You now once again in the name of Jesus. And we thank You tonight for this Word. Lord, help us to be laborers in this great harvest. Forgive us, Lord, where we've been slack, where we've been lazy, where we've not been concerned. Lord God, renew us, Lord God. Give us a fresh new fire to go about doing this work for You, Lord God. Fill us with Your Spirit, Lord God. Give us a refill, Lord, where we've been parched and thirsty, Lord God. We pray, Lord, You forgive us and wash us in that blood. Help us, Lord God, to be the light in the world of darkness we're supposed to be. Lord, help us always to obey Your will and not the devil's. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said? Amen. 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 I'm going to ask us to do something out of excuse me, the ordinary tonight. Is this okay? Did this get printed in the bulletin? Amen. We don't have a bulletin here. Amen. I want you to go and hug somebody. Tell them you love them. Don't hug your wife or your, your spouse. Hug somebody different. Amen to God. If you've never hugged me, come hug me. Amen to God. That's alright. Hug somebody. Just tell them you love them. Praise God. Let's, let's be different tonight. Let's let the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go over to God. I'm coming over here. I know I'm walking in front of the camera, but I'm going to hug you. Brother. Hallelujah. And we love you out there watching through Facebook. Facebook and YouTube as well. We give you a big hug in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Love you, brother. Praise God. Don't it feel good to love one another? Knowing we're doing something, praise God, that the devil don't want us to do? 
He doesn't want us to love each other. Now, if, if that person you hug has made you mad, make it right with them while you're there in front of them. Amen? Praise God. Well, you may do that. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's about the best time you can make it right, praise God, especially if you're around a group of people, amen to God. So if you've made your spouse mad, do it while you've got witnesses, amen to God. Don't shout me down, amen. It can save you a lot of pain later and a lot of torment, amen. But tonight, praise God, we don't need to do what the devil wants. And the devil wants there to be strife in the house of God. He wants there to be turmoil. He wants everybody to be... Uh, hallelujah, God, just complaining and murmuring oh. about the things of God. And we need to turn it around, amen, to God. And we need to rejoice and praise God. Brother Billy hit it so perfectly earlier when he was talking about him coming down here praying. And I'll tell you what, I'm not saying this to glorify or uplift him, but I'll tell you, I know there's times I'll text him and he'll send me one back down to church praying. That would be his response. And I, I kind of have a feeling that's where he's at, but you know, I sometimes bug him a lot saying, what are you doing? Amen to God, if I don't hear from him after five minutes, what are you doing again? Praise God, if you don't write me back, I'll come down here, amen to God, to make sure you're okay. But he always responds back down to church praying. And that touches my heart because when he says that, I can believe him that he's down here actually praying for the church, amen. for each of us collectively. I mean, that he's doing it. And we need to do that too. How many knows that we all need to pray more? Amen. You never seen a time in the ministry of Jesus when He was walking this earth in the form of Christ the man that He did not never pray. Come on. I mean, before great miracles were done, it said He went off and prayed. Come on. You never, you never seen that He never prayed without a, without a miracle happening before He prayed. And that's what He's wanting us to do. If we're going to be like Jesus is, we've got to go and pray. <clears throat> Spend time with the Lord. Amen to God. No. The disciples asked Him. They tried to cast out a devil from some. And they said, Lord, we, we, we did this. We, you know, we rebuked Him. We did, all, we did all of our routines and all what we're supposed to do. you know. But He said, only this comes by fasting and prayer. Yeah. Amen. How many of us have truly ever fasted? I mean truly. Come on. Or recently ever fasted? Come on. Reach on that. Come on now. Come on. We need to get back to fast. This is stuff that the Lord's laying on my heart too, amen to God, that I'm wanting to speak out to you tonight about. Because we need to get back to fasting. Come on. We need to get back to family altars, amen to God. Come on. I'm talking about not having the TV on when we're sitting at the dinner table, praise God, watching the TV trying to be a family. <coughs> Cut that old box tube off. And i got to agree with Gary Hall on this, praise God. We ought to put an axe in it sometimes, praise God, because He comes between us and our families. I'll tell you, I enjoy spending time with my wife and child, amen to God. Whether He throws His bowl of applesauce in the floor or not, it's still time together, amen. Amen. Praise God. And I'll tell you, I love it more than anything before we eat that we pray together. And I know this low, I'm a hunter, praise God, hallelujah, Hunter sat there the other night, and I just kind of peeked up. And I said, we're going to pray over the food. And Hunter reached his hand out to grab Lori's. He's all the way across the table, so I can't reach out, so he knows I'm reaching. And she, he reached out and grabbed it, and he was... Amen. And I was praying, I'm like, Lord, thank you for this food we got. He's like... <laughs> I know he must see me done it or something, hey, amen, God, because he's... Come on. And then I say, amen. And he does like that, he'll... Woo! I'm like... She's like, he's turned into you every day. And I find that as a compliment, praise God, because hallelujah to God, at least I know he's praying. At least I know he knows what we're doing, amen, to God. Yeah. Up at the church, praise God. When the grown-ups won't praise God, I just say, let Logan down. I mean, let Lord gee, I got Logan on my mind tonight, amen. Let Hunter down, and he just takes it off, and they've got a microphone up there. He cut the cord off and giving him, and he's just up there going, da 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 da. 
We don't understand a word he's saying, but he's up there clapping, praise God. That's more I can say for the adults, amen to God. Hallelujah to God. It's bad when little kids, amen to God, praise God more than the adults do. Come on now, don't shout me down, amen to God. Amen. I thank God for Hannah and uh, amen to God, Tyler and Isaac, amen to God. They will come up here and sing their songs, amen to God. Oh. They will march around the aisle, but some of us adults will sit there on our blessed assurance and won't move a muscle. Come on. Praise God. I'd hate to see if we really were down and out and couldn't do nothing. Like those nursing home patients up there where we just started the ministry back up. Again, hallelujah. They sit up there, praise God, they may get wheeled down in there. But one man stood up the other night. He said, you know, that's the first night we got started back, we had 21 in there. Thank you, Lord, for that. Amen. We thank God for that. Now, we're not doing it for numbers, but thank God that many came on. Amen. He stood up. He said, can I thank the Lord about something? I said, sure, go ahead. And he was a very loud-natured person, so when he talked, it was like, praise the Lord, you know, just real deep. He said, it's sad to see people in a nursing home that you get more people at a ministry saying at a nursing home. Yeah. We're in wheelchairs. We can't move around on our own. But people out there can walk. Come on. Can move around. Yeah. But they won't go to service. Amen. They won't go unless it's a holiday. Come they on. won't go unless somebody's getting married or, or something's getting, being given away. If free food's offered up, then they'll get up and they'll go. Or they'll go to show off a dress or a car or a suit. He said it's sad that you got to be in a nursing home to go to want to hear the Word of God. Come on. He said shame on the church. Yeah. He said because I was once one of those people. He said, and I can't walk like I used to. He said, I have to get pushed around. Yeah. He said, but it took all that to make me realize that I wish I could go back. And yeah. every time I had the chance, go when those doors were open. Amen. He says, it's sad that it took all the stuff that's happened to me over my life to get me to this point to make me come to this every time y'all are having it. Come on. And that just tore me up inside. I thought, my Lord. I'll never complain about being stiff on my right side again. I'll never complain, praise God, about being one or two minutes late, praise God, when I've got the opportunity. It should make me want to get 30 minutes early, amen to God. And that's for each of us, praise God. We ought to make the effort to get here because the devil don't want you to be here. He Come don't on. want you to get around other believers who's got a testimony that can set you free, amen to God. The Bible says we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and what? The word of our testimony. Yeah. That's why you ought to be testifying tonight. Don't wait until something bad happens Come so you've got a testimony. You've got a testimony now, amen. Amen. Don't let the devil tell you, hold your peace. Oh. Remember Jesus spoke that to the devil? Hold your peace, Satan. Yeah. Somebody tell the devil now, hold your peace, Satan. Hold your peace. <laughs> Praise God. I wish Sister Cindy was here tonight to hear this word. Praise God. Because I'll tell you, we, we may need to give her a copy. And I'm not meaning this in a bad way. But the devil needs to be spoke to in her life to hold your peace. Amen. Hallelujah to God. That devil is lying to them and I rebuke that thing now in Jesus' name. Amen. You said, Brother Mike, you're calling some names tonight. I tell you, I'm tired of seeing my family members in bondage. Come on. Y'all are my family, praise God. The believers in Jesus are my family, amen to God. And I'm tired of seeing folks in bondage. It's time to stand up, amen to God. Put our foots down and take authority over these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah to God. How many knows what I'm saying is the truth, amen to God? Amen. See, Satan believes, amen to God. He knows there's a God. The Bible says, James chapter 2, verse 18 and 19. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God. He even knows there's one God. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Yeah, come on. They believe in Jesus. Amen. Amen. They know how powerful Jesus Amen. is. Amen to God. And us Christians, we can't even profess it. Come on. No wonder the devil's running us over. We're doing it to ourselves. Amen. Yeah. I'm so glad on the day of Pentecost. Oh, this will get you shouting here, amen to God. Because I've got something with this. Glory to God. He highlight my time. Shout out on my time. Thank you, Lord. I'm glad on the day of Pentecost, Sister Reese, when they walked in, amen to God. They walked in that upper room. 
Mom. And they amen God. It's it says it there. They got in one mind and one accord. And then the Holy Ghost was poured out. Come on. But can you imagine if they allowed the spirit of fear to hinder them? Yeah. What would have happened that day? Because it said, and suddenly, go over to God. When they got in one accord, amen to God. Yeah. When they got on one page, amen to God. Got their mind on Jesus. It said, and suddenly, praise God. Tonight, I'm telling you, praise God by the Spirit of God. Tonight may be your and suddenly, praise Come God. On. You may be going through something right now. But all you've got to do is praise Jesus. And, and suddenly what happened, praise Come God. On. I tell you, you may be praying for a loved one, amen to God. You may have children that have walked away, but you start getting your mind, amen to God, on Jesus, and yeah. start getting together in one accord, on, and amen. suddenly what happened? I'll tell you, the devil don't like suddenly, because God likes to work, and suddenly, amen to God. Hallelujah to God. He healed people, and suddenly yeah. they were healed, praise God. And Come suddenly on. the Spirit fell. I'm telling you tonight, if you start praising Him and getting together, and suddenly, Suddenly will happen, and it will happen right now in the Amen. name of Jesus. Somebody give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Give him a hand clap of praise. Go ahead to God. Don't do the routine clap. Do a clap of praise. Amen. Amen. God. A victory. Amen. Amen. To God. I'll give you another case in point. Joshua and Israel, when they went to the walls of Jericho in Joshua chapter 6, verse 1 through 20. He said, march around these walls yeah. for six days and six nights. Yeah. But on the seventh time around, come on. Woo! He shot out of my top. Hallelujah. On the seventh time around, you start shouting, and then what? And suddenly the yeah. walls of Jericho will fall down. Oh, glory to God. And suddenly your walls will fall down tonight. Amen to God. Come and on. suddenly, somebody to neighbor say, and suddenly. Suddenly. Praise God. Tell the devil and suddenly. Suddenly. Praise God. Maggot head. Hallelujah. Egg sucking. Slew foot. Hallelujah. Brillo pad. Go to God and suddenly. Oh. Jesus is good. Woo! Go ahead. Hallelujah. I don't know if y'all got that or not. But man, I'll tell you, it can happen and suddenly. Amen. Amen. God. Go over to God. My, my, my. Y'all don't seem too excited tonight. Glory. I'll tell you. Man. Hallelujah. You ought to get that, amen. I mean, if you get that Come in your on. spirit, and suddenly, praise God, and suddenly it will happen for you. And yeah. suddenly your miracle will happen, Come praise on. God. Your healing will take place. And suddenly you get in one cord, one mind, and Come suddenly on. will take place. Amen. Praise God. There's enough word here preached. That's good. Praise God. There's enough word here preached and voice of the Lord for an and suddenly to happen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's going out through the pulpit. It's yeah. going out through, amen to God, iTunes, through YouTube, through Facebook, through CD of the month, amen Come to on. God, through Sermon of the Month, whatever it is, and suddenly it should be Come happening. On. And it is happening. Whoa. Praise God. And I'll tell you where it's happening. It's happening over here, praise God. Come it's on. happening over these places, praise God. That ain't too much talked about because these people over here and down here, praise God, they're and suddenly people Come because on. they will believe, amen to God, what that word says, praise God. And I'm talking about from a King James Bible, amen to God. Hallelujah. And they get there and suddenly, amen to God. Come on. Amen. It's touching people overseas, amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And suddenly it's happening. Come on. But here in this country, look, you don't see much persecution going on because no. people ain't standing up and preaching the truth. Come on. That's sad right here when there ain't nothing going on in the United States of America. I'll tell you why there ain't nothing going on in this country. We've conformed to the way of the Come devil, on. amen to God. We've got a president up there who needs to repent and get saved, amen Come to God. On, Turn his life to Jesus and not Allah, amen to God. That's why there's no persecution going on here. That's why we're not seeing, praise God, and suddenly happen. That's why the devil is getting his way. He knows the United States of America is being used mightily by God. But we've stopped him. We have hindered the hand of God over this nation. That's why our election is the way it is. Yeah. How many knows God could send 
somebody other than Mick Romney or Obama come that on. can come, praise God, and be a believer. How many knows God can and suddenly send a new candidate up for an independent amen. candidate? Amen. Don't tell me between now and November God couldn't send somebody that's an independent, praise God, who's Holy Ghost filled, amen, to God, who speaks only the name of Jesus, amen. I believe He can do it, amen, to God. Are we praying for that? Come on. I believe God can do it. Amen. And I believe He would do it. If America would repent, wait a minute, if the church would repent Hello. and get back into praying for what we're supposed to be praying for. Amen. Quit praying for selfish needs and start praying for others. Amen to Hello. God. Jesus never went around praying for self. He prayed for others. Oh, yeah. He was all about other people and not about self. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, I want to be about other people. But the devil wants you to be about self. Say, I don't care what the devil wants. Amen. I just want what Jesus wants. See, I got a revelation on this. I got I got woke up at 4.30 this morning. I, I asked Brother Billy, I said, if I send you my notes over, can you print them out for me? He told me last night, yeah, just do it. And I got woke up this morning by the devil. Made me mad. I told Brother Billy this earlier. Brother Bill, Sister Nancy wasn't here to hear this. So I'm going to mention it again. Come on. I got mad because the devil woke me up with worry and strife about bills, Come on. about different things. Yeah. So I silently got up out of bed, amen to God, while Lori was sitting there passed out to the world. I went in there to the kitchen and I got my Bible and opened it up, amen to God, to praise God. I opened up to the scripture. Where it said they named him Jesus. Amen to God. That's where the Spirit led me. Oh. And I said, Devil, I'm telling you right now, in the name of Jesus, oh. I will not allow worry, fear, strife to enter my mind. You have taken away from me a night's sleep, and oh. I'm wanting it back right now. I said, I'll take authority over these things in the name of Jesus. Amen to God. And I started shouting and rejoicing, and it surprised me that the whole house didn't wake up. Come on. See, my neighbors above me and beside me, they've moved out. So Come glory on. to God. That's all right. Now I can shout as loud as I need to and want to. Amen to God. Come on. See, I'm telling you tonight, the devil may have taken away sleepless nights from you. It's time to take them back. Come on. Praise God. You know how Whoa. Bill Collectors, amen to God? Bill Collectors, when you owe them money, what do they come and do? Yeah. Mr. Hesley, are you home? Yeah. We want our money. Well, it's time as you, you be the bill collector and you go after the devil. Come on. Serve notice on him. You've got a warrant for his arrest. Yeah. Because you bought back everything he stole. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Man, I thought y'all would get excited about Come that. On. Well, go over to God. Thank That's you for good. helping me, Brother Billy. Mm -mm -mm. We're almost done. I know. Y'all ready to get and go get some cookies or something. But I'm telling you tonight, seriously, if you don't hear nothing I said, you better hear what your pastor said. Because God wants to be worshipped. The devil don't want you to worship him. Because he knows when true the true worshipers, the true worshiping begins, that is the breeding ground for miracles. Yeah. That is when when Jesus is lifted up. Praise God, He will start sending His glory down and drawing all men unto Him. That's what He said. He was talking about the cross, which you said earlier, Brother Bill. But He's also talking about He'll draw them. He'll send the Spirit down that will touch them. Come on. Because you and I cannot make nobody get saved. We cannot make nobody do anything they don't want to do. Because each one of us has a will. God will not impose Himself on your will. But, amen to God, if you surrender to Him, praise God, whether it be, hallelujah, your finances, whether it be your, praise God, your heart, your mind, it, whatever it may be, if you surrender everything to Jesus, praise God, God will take that and He'll do tremendous things with it that Come the on. devil will get mad about. But who cares, amen? Amen. Praise God. The devil went after Simon Peter. Jesus said, Satan has desired to sift you as wheat. And Simon Peter's like, just like the church, most of the church is today, oh, yeah, I can do this, praise God, don't matter. 
When God warns you of an attack coming, you better be ready. Amen? Come on. You better start praying. Because I'll tell you, the reason people ain't spirit-filled today is because they're afraid. They're afraid of what the Spirit will do to them. They're afraid of what they may have to give up. Amen? Come on. Stand with me to your feet tonight. Amen? Hallelujah. Sometimes you just got to know when to stop. Hallelujah. A lot of folks are having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof that Jesus is wanting to give us. If, if anything I've said tonight that you've heard, I hope that the main point I want to get to, if I have to sum it all up in one sentence, let's get on the same page. Can we do that? Come on. Let's, let's get out of the whole competition of ministry things. Because I tell you, I, I'm, I'm so sick of that. I'm so sick of other ministries trying to compete with ministries to try to be better than they are. We're all on the same page together here. Remember when the disciples came to Jesus and said there's other people out here doing work? Yeah. Jesus said if they're not... <coughs> Or if they're not against me, they're for me. Yeah. Maybe backwards, something like that. If it's being done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, then they're for Him. But if it's being done in another name, they're against Him. So I know for me, and I'm speaking for me, that it's time that we start connecting with our brothers and sisters more. Getting on the same page, working more, amen, to God, so we can fulfill this great commission that He's called us into. Mom, because there's so much to be done. Time's running out. And I'll tell you, we've got a lot of work that need to be done years and years and years ago yeah. that we've put off. God, forgive us of our procrastination. Forgive us of our laziness, Lord. Praise God. Bow your heads with me tonight, please. If you've missed a mark in any way tonight, or at any time during your journey, it doesn't mean you're going to hell because you may have missed a mark. It just means we need to get closer to Jesus. Amen? Amen. If you've missed the mark, praise God, just ask the Lord to forgive you and ask Him to help you stay close to His side and to do what He has called you to do. It doesn't mean you're an awful person. It just means we need to be closer to Him. Father, I pray tonight as Your Word has went out, You promised it would not return void. I pray over every soul under the sound of my voice here, the voice of the Lord, and those out there through the internet, through the radio, through whatever avenue. Lord God, help us, Lord, to get on the same page, to, to unify ourselves in the name of Jesus, to do like they did in the book of Acts, Lord God and to continue on today, Lord, until you return back. We pray, Lord, help us not to be lazy and weary in well-doing, but to always be about your business. Help us to run this race, Lord God, by faith, knowing one day we're going to cross that finish line. And Lord, help us to be to where when we lay our crowns at your feet, you deserve them so well. Hallelujah. Lord God, help us, Lord, to do all we can by your grace and mercy. Be with us, Lord, as we depart tonight. Guide us home to our home safely. Lord God, help us to rest tonight, Lord. And if we should see another day tomorrow, help us all to be a light that you've called us to be to somebody. Send us to people, Lord God. Give us opportunities to share your word. In Jesus' precious name. Everybody said? Amen. Amen.